All right, dudes. What's up? What's up? So, on my Facebook group, the Prodigal Son OG Skater Group, I had a guy on there ask me, any tips for learning to pump? And sure, I've done these videos before, but I can never find them. You can't find them. Why not do it again? Why not do it again? It's a good question. It's asked by a lot of people. And for an OG, right? If you're 40 or more, and I think he said he was 43, but you just can never upload this video enough for you guys. So anyhow, I'm going to try to get into this again. My first tip, my very first tip sometimes is to record yourself. Have someone hold the camera, record yourself, because I guarantee you, you feel like you're going, ah, bump, and you feel like you just excessively got these radical body motions going on. And you know what? You don't. And if you video yourself, you'll get to look back in on it, and you'll be like, what happened? I thought I was fully pumping. Now I know this because me and an old friend, we spent some time doing it, and we were just shocked at how little we actually looked like we were moving to generate any speed by pumping at all. So there's lots of different aspects to pumping. I think first is the body language and really feeling the bowl and what the bowl's doing. You know, if you're just on a half pipe and you're going back and forth, you're dealing with just back and forth, up and down and a turn in between. And I can show you what pumping like that would be like right here. But when you're dealing with the bowl, you're dealing with the carving, you're dealing with different radius of arcs and all kinds of different variables thrown into the mix of that. And the deal is, when the transition starts to go down, you wanna push down. That's when you bend your knees and you push in on it. Because as you push yourself down, uh, you're gonna launch out. Now the same thing, when you're going up transition, you wanna do the exact opposite. You wanna jump almost, Never let your feet leave your board, but you're bringing your knees and everything up. So you're basically trying to be weightless when you're going up a wall. And then be heavy as you can and push into it on your way down. That's what's going to generate you the speed. When you're pumping also, your wheels should never leave the ground. There's no reason for that at all. Let me just do some basic pumping, sort of half pipe style, right in here. Up, down, up, push, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. Now you guys know I'm nursing an injury. You also know I'm not Mr. Rock to faking. But by pumping, I can get all the way up onto that coping. And by starting a pump like that, I can also end up in a stall from the bottom. I don't need to roll in. I don't need any real kind of speed. So this is just pumping. Really exaggerate those body motions. So right now, I'm just gonna ride it as if it were a half pipe, just kick turns. I'm not even gonna deal with carves and corners. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start off here with a rock to fakie, and then I'll throw in some kick turns. Light, heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. See my hands? Up down, up, down, up, down, now a turn, down, up, okay, so you see that, could I hit the coping, easily, could I do a stall on the coping, easily, from the bottom, no run up, no speed needed, just pumping. This is a six foot high wall, it's not hard at all. I haven't warmed up skating yet, I'm feeling a little sore, I'm taking it a little easy. 
but this is the stage of the game here. So now you got a corner. What do you do in a corner? I'm hoping you could see the way I was using my hands. When I'm going up, you jump in, you try, when I'm saying light, you're jumping into it and you're throwing your arms up because as you're going up and you, you're approaching that transition, as you're going up and you're approaching that transition, you bend your legs, throw your arms up, get your knees up, get the board to come up. Then you're going to be heavy. As you fall down, you're going to squat. At the same time, push your board down and you're going to go back. So as you go up, you're light. As you come down, you're heavy. And you keep your wheels. You're having pressure on your wheels as you're going back into the transition. So let me try to move the camera to show you how you might work a bowl. Now, when you're riding a bowl and it has waterfalls, it has hips and it has curved walls. You're dealing with all different kinds of transitions because you got your up and down transition like this. You got your waterfalls that are basically vertical up and down. But then you also have a waterfall. Let me show this. So here's your waterfall right here, right? So you want to push down and be heavy. As you come up here, you're going to extend your legs and you're going to be light and that's going to drive you up the wall. But if, if, if you notice, this waterfall runs right into this wall. So if you're coming in on the side here, it's the same thing. You come in and you're light and then as you ride away and ride over that waterfall, you're going to push down and you're going to be heavy. So when you see, like if you've seen my videos and I come down off this big, big waterfall behind you guys. I duck in here, and then as I'm coming up, I'm bending my legs, I'm looking up, and I'm, I'm making myself light. That's basically what's helping me pump. Come up on the wall, up. Watch my knees, guys. If we're getting good at pumping. If you're not feeling it in your quads, you're just not doing enough. You're not doing it right. Like I said, film, film, film. Get someone to hold your phone. Get a shot of yourself doing it. And then you'll see. You're not pumping as hard as you think you are. There's obviously comfort that comes with it. And at first it's gonna feel awkward, maybe a little sketchy, and you're not ready at that point yet to pump harder, but you'll know. You'll know, hey, this is something I'm supposed to gradually increase as I feel more comfortable with it. And then do, increase it. You feel like you're flailing and looking stupid, but then when you see yourself on video, you'll be like, oh, that looks much better. The harder you do it, almost the better, if you're ready. So anyway, guys, that's my advice on pumping for right now. I hope that helps you. Take a look at the links below to the Facebook group. I think if you're on a desktop, it's up at the top at the, like the, the banner area on the right side. And I'll try to start posting links in the video description of most of the videos so um and those who have subscribed to the other endangered species skateboard channel thank you i'm going to try to keep at least one video every sunday going up on that channel different different content than what you see here on the prodigal sun channel um basically just an effort to do something different i kind of want to incorporate the two brands together. I've got some really great t-shirt product design ideas that I think some of us OGs can get really in on and it can sort of uh, be a way to flag to the other OGs out there that you're an old dude and you skateboard because that's what keeps this stuff on fire, man. So anyway guys, I'm gonna get into a session here. I'm gonna warm up.
maybe pad up. I don't know. If I don't pad up, it's only because I'm trying to just take it easy today. And there's a trigger. It goes off in my head when I pad up. I get a little hard. And I just want to be back into the flow, get into the exercise aspect of this, get myself skateboarding and get it on my mental radar because I feel like Father Time has been talking to me, telling me lies, right? Slow down, old dog. You're about to turn 50. You know what? That's a belief system. That's a program. I'm not in on it. I'm not buying into that. Status quo for me, 50's young, right? Early, still early. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys, take care.